Well, good morning. You join me again on one of my historical adventures. We're off to see a fantastic place today. It's totally different than anything you could have ever imagined. My little adventure from the farm here. Well, this is where I start my adventure. And I head across this field to what is called Starwell, which is a fantastic well in Wiltshire, which has a phenomenon that you would not believe. So I'm going to walk across this field now and on down to the Starwell. This is the um, stream that runs down from the Starwell and it was cold last night, there was a frost and there's still bits of ice on the floor this morning. So we carry on up now and find where the actual well emits into the area. And you can see the frost there in the grass showing how cold it was last night, it got down to about minus two I think. And this is the star well. It would have originally been, as most wells were, 13th, 14th century. It would have had a trough there which has broken out since. But the main interesting part about this is that it actually throws up fossilised structures, structures called crinoids. And crinoids are star-shaped little uh, mini stars, basically, the size of a pinhead. And we'll see if we can find some of those here this morning. And they are 200 to 300 million years old, and they actually predate dinosaurs. That's how fantastic they are. So I'm going to have a little look and see if I can find any. I brought a sieve with me, so I'm going to sieve the uh, contents and see if I can pull out a couple just to show you. Here we are, I've got one on a sheet of paper. I brought a sheet of paper with me as well, as my trusty sieve, and you can see it's a perfectly star-shaped little crinoid there. Yeah, I found another one. So I'll put that on my sheet of paper as well. I'll put directions of how to get here. I think it's important to respect, respect the spot as much as possible. I've been here for about half an hour. If I zoom in on the actual crinoids themselves, hopefully you'll see them, and you'll see that they are mini star-shaped uh, fossils. They used to think that they were elder flower, which had um, been fossilized, but it's incorrect. They're our first real fossils. Well, I've zoomed in as close as I can on the white sheet of paper there, and you can see the star-shaped fossils. Absolutely brilliant this is. It's just so much fun. And it's the sort of thing that you can do with family, 
and you can have a look bring your white sheet of paper with you know what you're looking for and this one here is particularly well formed so it's really interesting uh, to see and another historical wonder how many wells do you know that chuck up things that are 200 to 300 million years old I'm now going to return the fossils back to their natural environment I'm not going to take any of them at all just feel it's best to do that Well, just standing here now, contemplating whether to go or not. But what a wonderful time I've had. And look at this, just stood by the spring, seeing the water flowing. History gets no better than this at all. It is just so much fun. So if you're in Wiltshire, put the Starwell on your list of places to visit. It is really great. It is history in your hands. It's exciting. And what an age, it's difficult to comprehend it really, but fantastic. So a truly fantastic place to visit. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's one of Wiltshire's sort of hidden areas of history that's not very well known about, but all the local lads know about it and been coming here for years. But show the area respect. Remember, if you find any of the little things, just put them back after. It's all part of the natural environment. And just have a wonderful time. That's what history's about. And just as I was leaving, I saw this. So this stone may have been part of the... See a bold out stone there. Original holy well side of things as well. But today is the... Fossils that have interested me more than the holy heritage, if you like, of the well itself.